Let me just uh, ask one more related question, and that is the circumstance. This is a real problem, uh, and I've heard it described to me uh, by people who face it. Uh, when can a student honestly claim to fall within one of these groups that is awarded a plus factor? So let's say the student has one grandparent who falls within that class. Can the student claim to be a member of an underrepresented minority? Yes, we rely on, on self-reporting, and, and we don't right. give it. One great-grandparent. If that person b- believes that that is the accurate expression of their identity, I don't think there would be any One great-great-grandparent. Uh, You're going to make me continue to go on. Right, right, right. <laughs> I think that as we go on, it, I agree that it would seem uh, less plausible that that person would feel that this is actually capturing my true uh, racial identity. But the same is true for any of the other diversity factors that we. It's family rely on. lore that we have an ancestor who was an American Indian. So uh, I think in that particular circumstance, uh, it would be uh, not accurate for them to say. Uh, well, I, I identify as an American Indian because I've always been told that some ancestor uh, back in the old days was an American was an American Indian. Yeah, so I think in that circumstance, uh, it, it would be very unlikely that that person was telling the truth. And the same is true for, uh, you know, we rely on self-reporting for all the, the demographic and other characteristics that we ask for. And there's nothing special about uh, the racial identification on, on that score, Your Honor.